Hi, I'm JJ and this is the Shutter Goes Click. I'm recording right now on a Panasonic camcorder, the HCV180, and this is what it looks like with the iris fully open, zero gain, shutter is going at 120, and I'm shooting at 1080p at 60 frames per second. And this is what it looks like when I hold a neutral density filter in front of the lens. And I'm going to show you how to put filter threads on your filter threadless camcorder with just an old filter ring and a metal strap. All right, to make this project work, obviously this is the camcorder that has no uh, filter thread on it. It's just a little plastic, chromey looking ring around um, the lens. You can see inside, there's no real chance of finding a filter thread in there. So this is the camera that we're gonna put our filter thread on. You're gonna need a metal strapping that you can find in any hardware store, around the same diameter, but obviously a bit bigger than the camcorder's chrome ring diameter. You're gonna need some double-sided tape. And a really important thing is a filter, spare filter ring that matches the diameter um, of the of the ring around your lens housing. So in this case for this camcorder, uh, the Canasonic HCV180, it's gonna be 46 millimeters. So I have lots of them because um, I have a camera that uses 46. Trick is you have to remove the lens out of it. And so this particular one, which was a universal uh had it just a little spring uh, uh, ring and i just popped it and it just came out so the lens is gone on that one in this particular case i think you just push the lens out so it'll depend on what type of 46 millimeter filter you have but you'll definitely need a 46 millimeter or whatever matching uh filter all right and the reason why is you need that ring because you want that thread this is the thread that allows you to, to attach another uh, filter to it. See, you can stack them. So what we're going to do is we're going to sock this filter ring without the lens on it like that. And we're going to use the ring to hold it in. Now the trick is we want to take double-sided tape. This is the type that you would use for carpets and we want to wrap it over both the ring and this chrome um, bezel. Uh, so, and then join it with the strapping. And you kind of want this little gooey, rubbery, um, double-sided substance to sort of seep through these little gaps here. And that's what catches and makes it a nearly a mechanical uh, connection rather than just a sticky one. It, there's a sort of, uh, it's really, it was a really hard, I actually already done the modification on this and it, it took a while for me to get everything off. Now. Uh, the most clumsy part is going to be uh, me cutting the, I don't think you should watch this, me cutting uh, the double-sided strapping that goes and peeling the red off of it. So I'm just going to start here and I'll, I'll jump ahead just because otherwise it'll, it'll just be silly to watch. So there, got this tacky um, stuff that you use for carpets on the, around the bezel of the lens. Now, as I mentioned, this one um, doesn't have a, any glass in it now because it's just, so what we're gonna do is you have to be really mindful. You want the filter thread to be on the inside facing outwards so that you can attach other filters to it. So I'm just gonna tack it in, just paste it in like this. Let the, let the tackiness help actually hold it in because now we have to do a bit, something more elaborate. So that just holds it in, it's just, not secure, not something I would throw in my bag that way, it's just tacked on very lightly. But once you add this strapping, now you want to be mindful, you don't want the strapping to get in the way of the microphone. So I'm just going to make the adjustment so that it can fit over without being clumsy. So pardon me while I do that. Will that fit? Should fit? There. So I've done it. I've gotten the strap um, 
big enough that it can go around both the bezel and the filter. And now it's just a matter of tightening it here. You definitely don't want to deform the um, the bezel. Like you, you, what you want to do, see, is begin see the glue or the gum just coming through the holes, and that becomes a, me a mechanical seal that at least gets the bezel and the strap together. And then the trick is that is to get this ring to attach nicely. So it's still a bit loose, so I'm going to tighten it more. I can feel it giving a bit. Okay. So I just wanted to reset things up because you really do want to make sure that the head of the strap, the bolt, is uh, on the uptake side of, so you're, when you're tightening it, it actually pulls this tighter and tighter. I had, I had to uh, take it apart to rebuild, it, to show you how to do it. So I ended up actually putting this screw in the wrong way, so, but it's the right way now. So I'm just going to tighten it. And eventually, so it's just going to set in, get its teeth into the strapping or its thread. And then once it hits the sand, we should be, start being able to tighten this. There we go. So I don't know if you could see all that because it may have been off camera. I was really focused on the task at hand. This filter thread, it's quite secure. It's actually really secure. So here you go. I've got this other filter. I'm just going to try to get it nice and honestly there you go so that's the that's the idea being able to you know the very dusty filters are pretty also not have it on it's not going to really help anything but uh a 46 on a 46 now my goal isn't actually to have 46 to 46 but actually to be able to hold this 52 52 millimeter variable neutral density not a very expensive one but uh, certainly don't want to break it or have it drop off. So I'm getting a 46 to 52, and that'll just always be on uh, the f the 52. And I'll just walk around with that in the camera, and it doesn't get in the way of anything. The microphone is fairly clear. I mean, this bit of metal has an impact, but I'm actually glad for the, the little bit of um, gum that's all around it. Uh, I think it'll help sort of deal with any resonant frequencies or anything if I bump it. Um, it'll deaden it a bit, but that's how you do it. That's how you get a filter thread onto a camcorder that has no filter thread. So there you have it, the uh, filter doing its thing. This is how it goes click, I'm JJ.